how to create a macOS bootable USB drive for any macOS version. You're going to need uh, the Belina Etcher tool, which will allow us to install the .dmg file of the macOS version onto the USB drive. And you're also going to need the .dmg, which I will show you how to get. So go to this website, belina.io slash etcher. All the links will, will be in the description below. And then download for macOS. And I would suggest saving it to the desktop. Now go to this link. This will be a, a shortened link in the form of a bit.ly link in the description. So click on that and it will bring you to this page. Now it's got Monterey all the way down to Lion. And you can download whichever one you want or need for your macOS system. So in my case, the latest that this thing goes up to is Mojave. So I installed Mojave on the USB, which I will show you in a couple minutes. And you just want to save this to your desktop. Take this file size, double it, and that's the USB drive you're going to need. Next thing you want to do is just install the Belena Etcher. So just double click and drag it to your applications file. Next thing you're going to want to do is open up Disk Utility and plug in your USB drive. Click on Erase and then you can name it whatever you want. I would suggest naming it Mac OS followed by a space and then whatever the uh, software is. And then the format is going to be Mac OS Extended. Now, if this is not an option for you, you're going to want to click on Mac OS Extended Journaled. I wouldn't suggest going with the encrypted because that may cause some issues when reinstalling or upgrading through the USB. So I would go with Mac OS Extended Journaled or just regular Mac OS Extended. I believe XFAT also does work with this. I'm not totally sure, but I know that when I've tried APFS, it did not work. So go with the Mac OS Extended. And then you want to click Erase. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now because I already have this installed. Um, so then you can close out of Disk Utility after that. And then open up Belina Etcher. And then you're going to want to click Flash from File. And then select that .dmg file that you uh, downloaded from the uh, website. And you're going to want to click at and then click on open. After doing that, select that target device, which is your USB, and then go ahead and click on flash. It may take some time, depending on the speed of your processor and the USB. So once that's done, you can just click on the X and then this is what your USB drive should look like. So uh, if it looks like this or similar, it may not have all of these folders depending on what you actually installed. You can just uh, compare and make sure that some of these are similar. Again, you may not have them all. After that, you are good to go. You can just eject the USB flash drive. If you want to boot into that USB flash drive, all you're going to want to do is just come over here and shut down your computer. And then once it's fully shut down, hold the option key on your keyboard and then plug in your USB drive if it is unplugged. And then you want to click on the power button and it will show you the boot options. And it should say the, whatever software you have installed on that USB drive. So in my case, it would say macOS Mojave. That is pretty much it for this tutorial on how to create a macOS bootable USB drive. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.